What's up guys, Brandon with Millionaire Heating and Air Conditioning. I just wanna show you how I test drains. Uh, this one here has actually has a slow drain. I wanted to see if I can show you guys what that looks like. Uh, so I'm gonna take out this float switch. So our system is gonna come back on. Got my handy dandy gallon of water here with warm water. I had it up to here. It started slow draining after I tested this much. So let me show you how I do this here. I'm gonna do this with the system off, just so water doesn't blow everywhere. It's nice when you have a safety switch because it's got this big mouth that you can pull down. Can you hear that? So it's actually clogging up now. You can hear the slow drain. Hit it again. There. And there we go. Backed all the way up. You'll see it kind of glug. And really, this drain should take a full gallon of water um, without even stopping. Um, in Texas here, we will, these air conditioners will remove, um, you know, 20, 30 gallons of water a day on a good, hot, humid day. And so it won't take a gallon of water um, in this short of a drain line here. Um, we've probably got a semi blockage in the, uh, the T underneath the sink. We'll have to get under there clear everything out, clear out the Robinson T, you know, put a vacuum on this line, suck all the gunk out, uh, maybe throw some uh, condensation drain line cleaner in there to help the lines st uh, stay slick once we get it cleared out. Uh, remember that bleach and vinegar will never clear a line. They can only help a clear line stay clear. Um, some people, it's a placebo effect. Some people, I've seen it work. Uh, but either way, you want to do something with your Texas drains and if you're in this area give me a call I can show you how to do it or uh, I can come out and do it for you thanks